people who are really curious about what's going to happen. Here at Fort Worth Academy, middle school science teacher Lauren Parker has a theory. Oh, that's lovely. Nothing can hold her students back. Um, there is a post for each. Not even gravity. What needs to happen? A theory she was able to prove a few weeks ago. Nobody does this sort of stuff. And I was like, wow, this is actually happening. Uh huh. To anyone who's come through her classroom, it's no secret Mrs. Parker loves space. I tell the kids all the time, like, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. And they kind of look at me like, well, aren't you already grown up? And I'm like, oh no, you're never done growing up. To keep them dreaming, Mrs. Parker told them about this program where students design experiments and then have those experiments tested on a zero gravity flight. Yep. After brainstorming their ideas, a handful of their experiments got a ticket to fly. Right, here we go. But more importantly, so did she. Mrs. Parker was one of eight teachers chosen to perform those experiments on board. Uh, During short periods of weightlessness, she put her students' questions to the test. Questions like, how might pancakes cook in space? Or, do Mentos and Coke react the same without gravity? That's a good one. Back in the classroom, they analyzed the data. It's like, look at this one. They'll likely forget the results, which Mrs. Parker always expected, because this was never just about the science. Giving them those skills of, you know, the confidence to try something and see what happens. And if it doesn't work, okay, try again. Teachers pass on knowledge, but the best always seem to convey lessons in life. If I ever reach a point where I'm like, oh, I can't do this anymore, I think I would try and remember Miss Parker. I know she cares a lot about the science, but I can tell that she also cares a lot about us. Whenever people give you inspiration and give you hope, it really does just drive you even further. And no amount of science can measure the gravity of that. Once you're cleaned up, you may go. In Fort Worth, I'm Sean Giggy.